How's it going everyone? This is the iPad in front of you and you're watching Foxtech of course. This time I'm gonna show you and talk about how do you get a Safari back on your iPad. You can see in my case when I go to all apps and look up Safari nothing shows up and it's a web browser official from Apple. It should be on my iPad, it's just not. And I just deleted it, I want to get it back. Well, if you just have the idea to look it up, you can of course find it inside of the Safari right here, but it doesn't even allow you to open it because it tells me that it's some kind of restrictions is applied. Anyways, to disable it and bring the Safari back on my iPad, all I have to do is to open up the settings and as you can see, I'm already inside, but I'm gonna show you how you can get there. So let's say that you are in the general section. I want you to click on the screen at time. And in case you don't have Safari, in case it's removed, everything should be set up already. So you should be able to get inside of this section and click on the red thing called content and privacy restrictions. And you can see that it is enabled altogether. So uh, there is something going on, the restrictions are active, and if you tap on allowed apps, you can see some of the stock apps which are available on your iPad and uh, to see if they are actually available or restricted. For me, Safari doesn't have the green tick next to it, that means that I don't have the option to use it. Simply put, my Safari does not work on my iPad. So to bring it back, all I have to do is to re-enable it, and when I come back to the iPad again, go to the all apps and now when I look it up Safari is now working properly so that's really good that's one way to bring it back by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where I publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iPhone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now but you don't even have to mess with the allowed app section. You can just disable the content restrictions altogether and nothing is really gonna affect your iPad and the apps mentioned before. So that's another possibility to do. But in case there, there are other restrictions applied to Safari, you can also manage them in here. As I said, disable them altogether if you want, but there are also content restrictions. So for example, you may limit the website visit visited to adult websites, or you can choose which apps are just allowed, which apps are not allowed. So it's really interesting. You can choose apps which never should be allowed or should always be allowed. So that's really cool. Just make sure to definitely play around with these settings, with these restrictions to make sure to bring, first of all, iPad uh, Safari back to the iPad, or just make sure that you have control over the restrictions and that you actually know what's going on. And it's not like you have no idea what happened. So yeah, that's, that's just how it works. I hope you found this video useful. If you found it valuable, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you don't want to miss the next videos which help you solve your iPad and iPhone problems. So definitely do that. Make sure to stay tuned for more content and I will catch you in the future. Peace out until then.